going on YouTube world and YouTube tribe. Got me a little helper today, my niece. Lauren, I love her. Mm. Yeah. We about to sit here. We about to do a review of Superman and Lois. Come back here. Where are you going? I don't know where she went. She just started running around. Hold on. Come on now. No. You got you to gotta get around me now. You got to get around me now. Come on. I don't she ticklish. All right. All right. She going to be in the video with me today. There's both in here. Uh-huh. Say hi to the YouTube world. All right. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Today's episode that we're going to be reviewing is what is it called the I think it was the eleventh episode called the Eradicator. I might be wrong. It might be the fourteenth. I think it's the fourteenth episode. <laughs> but you know how I like to do it. I like to give y'all a synopsis first before I get into what the episode was about and what you know what I like and didn't like. You ready? You what you there smiling for? I'm nervous, you, but I'm ready. You, you wanted to be in the video. You can't be nervous. Alright. Um, Lois is worried about Jordan as he and Sarah are growing closer. Uh, Clark plays <laughs> what you fidgeting for. Clark pays Lana a visit. Jonathan spends more and more time with John Henry, aka Steel. All right, so. What this episode was basically about was that this after the aftermath of. Uh, 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 Morgan Edge, aka Tor, uh, Torrell, um, get, I think that was his name, his Kryptonian name, get, uh, becoming the Eradicator and escaping from the D, the DO, uh, the DOA. I'm sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, off on the names, but yeah, he escaped. He's, he's messy. He got his little helper with her. I cannot remember her name. Um, <laughs> But yeah, they're basically now he has the ability to turn people into Kryptonians just by zapping them with blue energy. He's no longer Morgan Edge. That is even a scene where she's like, hey, they, they like Morgan Edge just is all over with, and he's like, no, that she's like, he's no longer Morgan Edge or Torrell. Um, he, and, but they slow to catch on. They don't know what she's talking about. Um. The Sarah and John, uh, Jordan like was like a little sub story. It was like a um, what you really smart? <laughs> uh, it was a sub story, basically just about how uh, I think Sarah and her people, uh, uh, Lana and all of them, are moving, was leading to Clark. The reason why Clark was visiting uh, Lana because he was trying to convince her to stay because she's like with his mother going, she's the hardest Smallville. So with that being said, he that was par partially what he spent the episode doing, but then the whole thing came crashing down. I mean, it got the the beginning half was a little slow. It was a little boring, but then it picked up towards the middle end. Um, you got Jordan, Jordan, Jordan um, no, not Jordan, Jonathan. He's spending time with Henry Irons. You know, he's telling them. They tell him, you know, they don't like him spending time with, you know, spending time with Henry, you know, building those type of weapons. But he tells him, hey, you can't have it both ways. It's either Morgan that's just a threat or he's not. And they agree, and they like, man, you make way too much sense. Get out of here. Just get out. So uh, he goes to help uh, Henry. Henry doesn't with you. No, he still have PTSD. He's still reeling from the Superman of his world and all the destruction he had. And, uh... Yeah, he's pretty much like, I'm trying to remember what he, oh yeah, he pretty much like brushed uh, Jordan off, because Jordan was like, he you know, he see Jordan as this kid who needs to be living a normal life instead of building weapons with him, so he telling him like, go do that, go be a normal teenager, have fun, and uh, get and stop wasting my time. You know, it was a little bit of cruel, but it was like a, it was like a wake up, like a little cruel good spirit to thing because he just didn't want him to be like him because you could tell by when when George and Jonathan left he was just sitting there looking like man I didn't really mean to be that harsh but you know it is what it is oh come on camera um so 
So, uh, by that point, Morgan Edge and his little assistant, they make their move. They end up going to Metropolis. Um, I think there was, uh, there was also a town hall meeting. I forgot. I almost forgot about it. Um, with uh, Lois's father and them. They got into it because Lois gave that sensitive information to her paper, to that girl she was at the paper with, which led her to, you know, re releasing all the uh, news. The, the secretive news that, that wasn't supposed to be released was causing panic and chaos. Now, everybody wants the, D, uh, D, uh, the DOG out of the... Uh, out of Smallville, basically, because they like, you know, they accusing them of lying. There's all this other different type of stuff that they not telling people, and people just want to know the truth. So, we flash to Metropolis, Morgan Edge, or basically their their uh, living embodiment of the Eradicator. He's uh basically telling Clark that this is the the reason why they're here in Metropolis. Because this is the place he championed. This is the place he always protect. So they they thought it was a fitting start to, you know, repopulate uh, Earth with Kryptonians. And little did they know there was some Kryptonians. They already had um, people. They already had turned to Kryptonians. So John Henry Irons and Superman they fighting. They not only Morgan Edge and that I can't, Leslie Leslie is her name. Not only is they fighting Leslie and Morgan Edge, but now they gotta fight some humans that become Kryptonians. So in that they have they fly all around destroying stuff, fighting but have you whatnots, but it it really picked up because then a certain somebody close to Clark got kidnapped. I won't tell you who it was because you gotta watch the episode for yourself. But a certain someone got kidnapped and um the plot thinkers, I think this is like, yeah, this is maybe the last episode before, um, I want to say it's before, yeah, it's the last episode before the season finale, but yeah, it was, it was an okay episode, it was slow at times, it was slow in the beginning, like I said, it was slow all the way up into the middle, then it just got real good, that's what I got really invested into the episode, but it looks like the next episode will be a uh, head banger and a head scratcher and we don't know what's going to happen to who some people might die some people might live who knows it's dc they always you know dc just like marvel they always have people dying and coming back from the dead like they did with laurel lance but that's it that's all i got like i said this i'm not going to give you too much because this wasn't a sport overview but what you got to say to the youtube world mm -hmm. oh yeah Hope you stay safe. <laughs> you heard her. Stay safe. And I know it's a gloomy weather is outside, but stay safe, stay clean. Um, remember to always wash your hands. Remember that. Tell them to wash their hands always, right? And wash your hands always. <laughs> All right, guys, we out of here. But if you enjoy this video, then hit this button right there in the upper right corner, <laughs> upper right corner, if, for all of my reviews. And then, if you truly enjoy me and my little helper in this in this video, she like to dab, dab, dab on again, dab on again, dab. <laughs> if you enjoy this video so much that you want to support the channel, then hit that like, subscribe, and turn on that notification button so you always, always get notified when I drop a video. And as always, hit any one of these videos with more of my amazing content. But don't go nowhere because I got one more video for you. But let's say goodbye for now. And make sure. To comment and like and subscribe and turn <laughs> those notifications on. <laughs> All right, guys, peace.